。今集《曼德拉效应》专辑二百一十二会分享另一个曼德拉效应个案。上次曼德拉效应个案专辑中分享咗遥控飞机及其他遥控器械，例如遥控坦克及遥控导弹。原来早喺一百年前嘅第一次世界大战同埋七十年前嘅第二次世界大战中已经出现，并且能够非常精准摇佢飞机上嘅导弹击中地上目标。呢一种遥控技术根本冇可能出现喺旧现实，因为数码晶片出现前根本冇可能稳定地遥控空中最少二三个频道 3D 方式飞翔嘅飞机，更何况呢啲并非遥控玩具嘅小型飞机，而系长十尺以上嘅飞机。假如以旧式盘管 coil 嘅开关嚟遥控，飞机会喺空中不断摇晃，冇可能如上星期影片所见，能够极稳定地飞翔。今集曼德拉效应个案专辑会继续分享一种飞行交通工具嘅科技，极可能因为曼德拉效应，俾我哋认知嘅历史早几十年已经出现。呢一种飞行交通工具就系直升机，大家嘅记忆中，直升机系何时出现及应用喺战场呢？你嘅记忆中最早见到直升机系咪一九六零年代美国嘅越战呢？大家都知道直升机可以垂直升降以及停留喺空中，所以越战嘅丛林战中，直升机非常适合用作救援及近距离地面攻击。我哋大部分人嘅记忆中，直升机第一次出现系五十年前一九六零年代嘅越战，部分人则喺六十年前一九五零年代嘅寒战中。见过极少量直升机用作运送伤兵，但系现今现实中，原来直升机早喺一九四零年代，甚至早喺一九三零年代已经出现，并且非常成熟，甚至可以喺空中作出垂直循环打圈 （loop the loop） 嘅高难度动作。假如大家对直升机有研究，试问直升机要到边一个年代先至可以做到垂直循环打圈嘅高难度动作咧？以下。喺二零零四年，美军阿帕奇直升机垂直循环打圈嘅高难度动作，究竟一九四零年代嘅直升机有冇可能做到呢一种高难度动作咧？我哋嘅旧记忆中，最早系一九七零年代，甚至一九八零年，美国阿帕奇直升机先开始做到呢一种高难度动作。以下影片。系谈及第二次世界大战多种不同外形嘅直升机。You guys, this one's called Nazi helicopters. <laughs> All right, so which one should I play first? This might be a lengthy video. I like to keep the videos around ten minutes, okay? But sometimes you get a little carried away. That's a Looks like a barrel to a gun. So here's the thing. Okay, I'm gonna start this from the beginning. There are lots of videos.、Um, I just just came across this, right? And I wanted to make it immediately because I like to keep、uh, my my、uh, reactions clean and pure as possible. 1937. So I'm all for aviation. Okay, I'm all for aviation being used in World War One, World War Two, borderline World War One, but it has been proven. Yes, it has been used. But well, I do remember it being used from our old world anyway. But World War Two, definitely, definitely, there were airplanes, you know, the, the bombers. But I just don't ever, ever once, ever remember, ever once, ever <laughs> a helicopter. Ever once in World War One, World War Two, only in the Korean War and the Vietnam, especially with the Huey. Oh my lord, that's like the trademark right there. Look at this, they're lifting up a gun. So here's my problem with helicopters. Okay, when were they invented? That was something that just went over. Like I just never even thought about it. Like I'm like, because we're all familiar with planes. I'm like, ah,、yeah, planes. You know, the Wright brothers. But the helicopters, like, hey, I'm a helicopter. I'm like, hey, how's it going, helicopter? That was my introduction in life. I didn't even question when it was made. It, it wasn't really made a big deal the way、uh, the, the way planes were. You know what I mean? So I'm having trouble with this big time. When I saw this, I immediately my body went, no, this is wrong. Okay, 
when I first saw this, that's what I thought immediately. I was like, whatever I'm looking at is not right. Okay. <laughs> Considering planes were invented by the Wright brothers, this is not right. Ha <laughs> ha, did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> but, 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 was that a, that's a human. Who was that? I mean, guys, like, this is where I need your help. I'm pulling, I am claiming my ignorance card. I am pulling it hard today. It's out, I'm wearing it. If you could see me right now, I'm wearing my ignorance card. It's, it's a t-shirt, okay, I'm wearing it. I'm oblivious to when helicopters were made, but here's the thing. I know my feelings, I know my intuition. I know my gut, my gut said no, this isn't right, okay? Cool, did you see that? He just dropped the bomb from the helicopter. <laughs> Look, the guy pulling the helicopter down. <laughs> I can see that again. <laughs> Let's watch this guy. He's like, no, I got you, I got you, don't worry, you're good, you're good. <laughs> anyway. Guys, this is like so new to me. Okay. German Nazi helicopters. What's going on? What's going on? Look at that helicopter. See the swastika? Oh, what is that? Ooh. What is that? Oh, that is a helicopter. Oh, okay, that's the plane. This is helicopters. See? Helicopters. I, I don't know how many times I have to say this when I watch, uh, when I make these videos. I have seen so many documentaries. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, I'm calling on your grandparents, your great grandparents, your memory. You guys, you, most of you are like me. A lot of you have watched these. A lot of you know about World War I and World War II. Okay, a lot of you have watched endless documentaries. You're on the same boat as me. I see it in the comment section all the time. Okay, you know what I'm talking about when I say I've never seen this before. In a video, I've seen Band of Brothers. You know how many people could have been rescued with a helicopter? You know what I mean? I've seen Band of Brothers, I always relate to Band of Brothers because it's a really good show. It documents them landing, like Operation Overload, all, you know, from the beginning to the end. Look at the helicopter here, I'm just trying to find out parts of the helicopters. Let's go back here. March 26, 1945, ME. So why are they calling it ME and FE? That's Flat Earth, we just saw a plane that had FE on it. That's Flat Earth, now we got ME which is Mandela Effect. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> just joking, guys, I'm just joking. That's a cool plane. Hey, listen, is that plane supposed to exist in World War II? These are the things I'm asking you guys, okay? That's a, I don't remember. I know a lot of these probably weren't put into uh, first helicopters. Yeah, first helicopters. Here's a problem. Like I said, it's just consistency. Like, we've watched a lot of documentaries. Have you ever heard of the helicopter? I know there's going to be a portion of you that are going to be like, yes, I've heard of helicopters. My grandfather built one in 1943, then they almost implemented them. And then you're going to tell me this amazing story, and I'm going to believe every single word you said because obviously they existed. Okay? But if you're going to say this isn't a Mandela effect, and I'm going to have to say you're not affected, I'm sorry. Like, you know what, I can't say that. That would be very uh, rude of me, but I'm telling you, if I was just nonchalantly, oh, I saw a helicopter, or I, and I never really watched anything on World War II or anything on war, then that comment, I would have to be like, oh, okay. Oh, we're at the 10 minute mark, okay. So, no, I, it doesn't play here. Like, I've, I've never seen a helicopter with, with wings on the propellers, like, that designed before on a helicopter, okay? In action. Look at the skeleton frame. It's like, the frame of it, it just looks cool. It looks very modern, these ones. Like, not like, recent modern, but let's say 20 years ago. You know, like, look how tiny these are. 
Look at they're flying. Don't you think they would use these in World War II? I mean, look how well they're flying them then. So this is why I'm having a problem with this timeline. Look how well they're flying them. And this is 1940. What? Did he just do a loop-de-loop? -loop? Okay, so I... Was that a loop-de-loop? Obviously they could fly them, they're just barely learning on how to fly, then the guy does a loop to loop. <laughs> don't if they could do a loop to loop, don't you think they'd be landing these things? Don't you think they here's okay. Gayuta Sabin Tin get a Yi T Sai Dai Jin CK, Yiging Chun Yin Gum Sin Jun Kam Patong Fun Sikitsengi, 一出以阿帕奇直升机为蓝本的动作电影 蓝霹雳, Blue Thunder 会在电影尾声由男主角驾驶电影中形容最先进的蓝霹雳直升机在空中与另一架重型军用直升机交战并以水直循环打圈的高难度动作反转局面令自己由本来被敌机从后追赶变为反过来追赶敌机后方并成功